Brian from TPC here. We've got an exercise we call the Gunfight Speed 24. It's our standard TPC 24 exercise, except you're going to do it at what is a typical gunfight speed. And one thing that our founder, Ron Avery, has discovered or noticed in studying lots and lots of footage and reports of gunfights is typically, no matter trained, untrained, what kind of gun, people generally shoot about four shots per second in a gunfight. So what that translates to is 0.25 splits on target. So we're gonna run that. What we're gonna do is we're gonna run our TPC 24, three strings of eight rounds on a seven yard four by seven rectangle. And hits be damned, we're gonna shoot at gunfight speed and that's one shot per quarter of a second, four shots in a second. We're gonna see what the hits look like downrange and what the reaction time basically is going to be our variable for what the hit factor ends up being. So how many hits I get, how much time does it take for me to get the gun up into action from our compressed imminent threat. In addition to that, Decided to test it and see what happens if I shoot a 45. This is a Glock 41. It's a 17 round 45 ACP with some TTI base pads. So let's see what we can do. One point nine two, and that is 78 first shot. 16, 8, 19, 16, 16, 15, 18, 14. So, second string. And third string. All right, so we're down range. We've walked our seven yards and we're inspecting the target. We'll have to add up the hits later, or the times later. I have three hits outside, which means I have 21 hits inside. I managed to not pull anything way off the paper, so I'm happy about that. What's the purpose of this exercise? Because those are not the splits I feel comfortable shooting, especially with a plastic 45. Purpose of this is to see what happens when I lose my ability to control the fact that I'm shooting. Or in other words, I'm not really thinking about watching the sights come back. Everything in there was pretty much subconscious. So the grip, the stance, I'm not warmed up. I don't think a whole lot about my grip and the stance when I set up. I'm not thinking about recovering the gun. I'm sure as heck not thinking about how I pull the trigger or where the sights are coming back to. I'm just pulling the trigger when I basically am able to pull the trigger again. This is kind of what happens, worst case, in a gunfight when I'm not thinking about any of that stuff.